Can I retire now, Michael Guerin? Look, I, I, um, for those who don't know, of course, Tony part owns a share in a horse called Advantage. That race was at Rickerton today in Christchurch. It bolted in, absolutely bolted in. <gasps> Mate, I tell you what, I looked at the horse, and I've never seen her in the flesh before. Um, she's, she's, this is going to be technical, but she's shaped like a three-year-old, so she's not going to be at her peak till she's three. She's only two, which is very young for a horse. You're now going to have a runner, providing all things go well, in a million-dollar race at Ellerslie in late January called the Karaka Million, and that's awesome. Ironically, a race that four years ago the winner was owned by the great Sir Colin Mead. Yeah. So the great this is, late this Sir Colin Mead. This is phenomenal. Mm. I'm so excited, Pete. So are you prepared to sell me 1% of your 10% or not? <laughs> what, what are you willing to pay, Pete? Well, it's 250 bucks, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> like I say, 1% of your 10%. I'll tell, tell you the thing I've seen about this. Year. Obviously, I've been going to race minis my entire life, and, and I'm seeing in you today what I see in a lot of people. Yeah. And, and there'll be some people here who hate racing. I totally understand that. That's, that's fine. But what you see from people who own racehorses, it's so true. when they win, they literally have the same response as you see from one of your friends when they start dating somebody new. They're like, oh my God, this is so exciting because they're not sure where it's going to go. They're excited. It's a whole new range of emotion for them because most people never own a racehorse. It's, and when it it's wins, so true. The, honestly, I see it. So I see growing men who are like 60 years old and worth $20 million at race meetings crying because they can't control what's going to happen. You can control a lot of things in your life. What house you buy, that sort of thing. <laughs> Look at but Sam. You can't Sam's control. looking at this going, you're talking absolute <laughs> dribble. Mate, seriously, I've seen, I've, I've seen, I've had, I had growing men who I, I see in, in cafes around Auckland. G'day, mate, here you go, I'm good to see you. On Saturday, the one at the races, they're hugging me. Mate, I can't believe this just happened to me. And then you get a horse like Winks, for example. They paid 110000 for Winks. She's won $12 million. Now, this is a life-changing thing. Now, not all horses are that way, but i tell you what it is. It's when you're sitting in traffic in your car and you think life is shit. We all have those moments. It's raining. You're in the motorway and walking. And you're like, this is dreary. I'm not really enjoying today. If you've got a little share in a horse, you're like, but on sad day, my horse, my is, horse racing. is racing. <laughs> and people may think that's silly, but that's, and you're in a syndicate. Nice way to do it. You pay your fee, the minimum training fees. You're probably paying 10%. You're probably paying $300 a month. And it gives you something else to think about. See, I was in love with my lawnmower, Henry. I've got a robotic lawnmower, Pete. Yeah. So, about Henry. Yeah, yeah. So I go out and watch Henry. I just sit there and I watch Henry do his thing, right? Yeah. And it's been hard because over winter it's been raining and I can't have Henry out because he may get wet. Mm-hmm. Um, but this has taken my love for something else to a new level. Tell us about the economics and your co-owners, uh, Vichy. Uh, I don't, Who owns the other 75%? I actually don't know because when I bought... No, 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 no I do. Oh, you're not my, having a drink with them tonight then to celebrate no, but, the victory. But Chris yeah, Flaunty yeah. has got hold of me and he said, yeah. he's got hold of me and said, Who's hey, Chris mate, Flaunty? Well, I don't know. He's one of my co-owners. He got hold of me and he said, he said to me, hey, mate, so excited about looking forward to the race tomorrow. He started tweeting me during it. Nice run. Awesome day. Happy day starts. And I said, did we yeah. win? Yes, we did by two and a half quarters, which is exactly what you're talking about. And he just introduced himself mate, to me and said. Yeah. Like so you've got a new girlfriend or a new yeah. boyfriend. They're just over the moon. They're so so what was the purse today? What was the winning purse 14, today? 14,000, I think. But 14, see, see what so means, so purchase so price was quarter of a million then, was it? Yeah, just under. But yeah. Pete, she, she's already worth half a million. But the thing about it is she's, she's a filly. <laughs> Well, she, she's a filly, so she has residual value, and yeah. that means she can become a mum, and therefore her foals could go to Karaka her. every year for $200,000. The thing about it is, you don't That's know what's going to happen next. Well, she, can you she, sell me 2%? <laughs> well, she could turn out to be useless and never win another race. Or she could win a million dollars. And, you, and you simply don't know. Do, and that's do you know the what this, the, this little thing through here, little Sammy? And I love you as well, Sam. I do, in a different kind of way. Who do you love more, the horse or Sam? Oh, definitely the horse. <laughs> um, but Sammy was through going, nah, mate, we want to find out if she's bona fide or not. So we're getting Michael in. Sam, has that answered the question for you? Uh, well, Mick's just said that it could turn to a complete bust, so yeah. I'm I'm still realistic here. I, I'm trying to put, put it this way. I'm trying to keep you on the straight and narrow there, Tony, because be we don't in, want you going and spending those potential winnings. You'll be in the quickly. Karaka Million at Ellerslie on Saturday night. There's two million dollar races only day of the night of the year. It's a twilight meeting, and that's a chance where I, I know this will happen to you if, if she's in there. You will not be able to think about anything else that week. You'll get up, you'll put your suit, and I know you hate a suit. Saturday oh. morning, you'll be that excited because. You can't control this. And that's why the Arabs who own Emirates Airline, now these people own like an entire country, a range of countries actually, and they are investing heavily because they can't control this. They can't win the Melbourne Cup. It drives them nuts. And you had a little shred of that today. And the next time she's going to go to the races, you'll be thinking about it for four days beforehand.